Hey everyone, Z1 here, Loading Eclipse once again. Uh, just created a video on how to check that one out. It uh, it covers most of the basic f functions of Eclipse, like changing the theme and whatnot. It covers like how to do stuff, like basically just changing the theme and uh, changing perspective and whatnot. But uh, those, th that's pretty much all you have to do to use Eclipse. It's uh, pretty helpful. Wouldn't mind some VB in here, but that's Microsoft language. So, so I'm, I'm eject, and let's see what's on the schedule for. Create a new video. Ignore this. So today we will learn about switch statements in Java, and then we will learn about do while statements. So all that loop, all those looping statements. Uh, I did update my Java. It's 73 instead of 71 now, which is like fantastic. So. Uh, Eclipse doesn't take much space on your hard drive either way. You can download it from Oracle. So. I believe this is a link here. Uh, hold on. Okay, so yeah, here's the link to Oracle. You can find the download there for JDK, JRE, you know, stuff that I use and uh, Eclipse or I think uh, you can just like look up Eclipse on Google and uh, I also use NetBeans though not often because I have been using Eclipse for two years now so yeah there you go so now that I've created my project, I'm going to create a package, simple stuff like this. Already showed you how to do this. So, okay, here we are. Created the class, created the main method. So switch statements. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna real quick. So. The easiest way for me to explain this is to show you with user input. Okay, so switch statements are very basic. Uh, this is not part of the switch statement. So, there's some. Okay, so now I've created the scanner, whatnot. Dang it. Sorry, I try and keep numlock off as much as I can. <coughs> but, uh, or I try to keep it on, rather. I don't know, on or off. I try to keep it so that if I press the one on the numpad, it goes to the end of the line, but, you know, I use it as numbers as well. So, 
we need to start our input start next line oh dang it's S C uh, by the way they are case sensitive variable names they are case sensitive okay so if this S was capitalized and this C was removed they would not be the same which is actually better than VB because VB you don't have to have it case sensitive it just recognize it for the text not the correct capitalized capitalization yeah. can't speak today so now we can do switch s and we have a basic switch statement so then there's cases okay and then default and each each statement ends with break so each case ends with break same with default I think yeah I think it does yeah it does <coughs> so now if we want it to equal rock oh and by the way we want to do a dot two lower case because that's important as well so add cases for paper and scissors Okay, then we can just add text. So if it equals rock, just make it do whatever. You can do whatever you want. But, and this can be whatever you want as well. You can do numbers, strings, any of that. Okay, so I'm just going to finish writing these strings. sick to, since December it's horrible it won't go away it says uh, February 17th now so three months yeah been sick for three months longest ever horrible worse than bronchitis um, Okay, so when we run this, so basic stuff, I can type rock, nice choice. Okay, so if I want to run this again, and type paper, choose paper as well. Okay, so now, if I type scissors, I don't like scissors. Okay, and I need to add one more thing. There we go. Okay, so now... So now, if we type... Bleh, whatever. There we go. See? default is basically what happens if all the cases are not met or if even one of the cases are not met or is not met so there you go switch statements in java